Hello, and welcome to a brief data security and privacy training. My name is Oscar Cobos, and I am a Lexis research attorney based in Phoenix, Arizona. Before joining Lexis, I practiced law in New Mexico for about a year and a half. Let's look at today's agenda. Today, I will show you how to stay up to date on data security and privacy laws in 50 states, ensuring you are aware of regulatory trackers to follow key enforcement agencies, and I'll show you how to quickly draft and update privacy policies. I'll walk you through how to approach these today, and the centerpiece will be practical guidance. You're probably wondering what data security and privacy encompasses. It's a wide range of topics, including, but not limited to, cybersecurity risk management, data breach planning and response, employment privacy, regulatory enforcement actions related to cybersecurity, and data privacy and cybersecurity compliance on the state, federal, and international levels. You may also be wondering what practical guidance is and why you should use it. Practical guidance is a great tool for task-based research, and you'll get practical guidance from pioneering attorneys in several areas of law, including data security and privacy, on essential skills including compliance on all levels, cybersecurity risk management, how to manage data breaches, drafting policies, and much more. An added bonus of using practical guidance is that we include our data security and privacy content as part of the practical guidance subscription rather than requiring customers to buy an additional product. Now it's time to show you all these awesome and easy to use tools and resources. This screen is the research homepage and is where a lot of your research will begin. First, let's discuss staying up to date on laws in multiple jurisdictions. In the search box, begin to type 50 state survey. You'll notice that before I even complete that phrase, the search wheel begins to populate relevant options. Select 50 state surveys. You'll note several options here, but we'll focus on computer and internet law, and more specifically, the privacy and security option. Once you select the privacy and security section, you will get a very nice overview about your topic. And if you continue scrolling, you'll end up at a wonderful chart with information about this topic broken down by jurisdiction. This will allow you to quickly compare all of those jurisdictions. Plus, there are links and citations here, so it is a huge time saver. Once you review and confirm this information, you could include relevant information in a letter to a partner or a client. The 50 state surveys are a great place to start your research. Now let's go look at the state law comparison tool. You can access this in one of two ways. First, you can select the product switcher and select practical guidance from here, or you can access practical guidance in the experience dock on the left hand side. Once you are in practical guidance, you'll notice the standard search box as well as relevant practice areas. On the right hand side, you'll notice the state law comparison tool. However, I'd like to first click the data security and privacy practice area. Once I do that, I can now also click the state law comparison tool and the practice area will be saved here as an option. Now I'd like to select a topic and so I'm going to select data retention and disposal privacy. Maybe you've been tasked with determining how long one of your clients must retain records or information and the appropriate way of disposing of that information. First, you'll select your jurisdictions. So let's go ahead and select Arizona, Colorado, and why not, let's select California. Once the jurisdictions have been selected, you'll select continue and you'll get a prompt of questions below. These are questions which the system can quickly research for you. So I will select three of them. What records are covered? When must records be properly disposed? And the penalties. Once those options have been selected, you can download your report. You'll have the option of a file type, and I like PDF, so that's what I will select, and we'll download. Once downloaded, you can open that report up and you'll notice the table of contents organizes your topic and jurisdiction. Now you can review and begin to put the pieces together. This easy to follow chart lets you know that the information is current as of, and again, it separates by 
jurisdictions and includes links to the statutes and other information that you can access from this PDF. Keep in mind that this is also information that you can quickly share with a partner or a client in a memo or a letter. Now let's quickly go look at the regulatory enforcement trackers which can also be found inside practical guidance. Remember I am in the data security and privacy section under practical guidance. Under the topics and tasks section you'll notice the regulatory enforcement trackers option. Once you select that you will notice the regulatory enforcement trackers on that topic. Here I will select number five. This tracker is not intended to feature every decision rendered by the Office of Civil Rights, but it features cases involving presidential interpretations or significant consequences for companies not following HIPAA. Now the final thing we'll cover is also in practical guidance, and you guessed it, it is in the data security and privacy section. Here you see topics and tasks that an attorney in this area may deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's say you've been tasked with drafting a bring your own device policy. I actually had to do this right out of law school. Unfortunately, my firm did not have Lexis, but you do. So I trust that a task like this will be a lot easier for yourself than it was for me. Let's select employment privacy. Once I am in the employment privacy homepage, on the left hand side, you'll notice a set of options. Practice notes are like encyclopedias on your topic. It is a great way to get a general overview on that specific topic. Templates, on the other hand, will save you a ton of time when trying to draft all sorts of documents you'll encounter in your legal career. Clauses will give you different clauses you can use when modifying your document. And finally, checklist will provide you with a roadmap to make sure you've covered everything on that specific topic. You may also encounter articles or secondary materials that can be useful as you begin your research. So let's go ahead and check templates. Once here, you can scroll through the options. And wouldn't you know, option number two is a bring your own device policy. Now, let me direct your attention to the right hand side. Anytime you see core document on an option, this is the system telling you that this is the most important document on this subject. So let's go ahead and access this policy. Once I have accessed this policy, there is a lot that you can do. You can throw it in a folder, print it, email it, download it. You can also open it in a Word document. This is crucial because you'll want to review this, but also put your own flair on this document. Up at the top, you will get a summary of the bring your own device policy and why an employer would want to adopt such a policy. And if you scroll down, you can expand all drafting notes, which will explain to you why a particular paragraph is there. And also, you can expand all clauses. Doing so will give you alternative clauses that you can insert to modify the policy. And make sure you review these really, really carefully, because they can be pretty complex and specific. This clause states that all materials, including voicemails, instant messages, social media postings, and other activities created on this device are property of the company, regardless of who owns the device at issue. So just something to keep in mind. Any pictures or videos you take of family functions or when you're out and about with friends, be careful because they could fall within the scope of this policy. And there you have it. Now you're ready to tackle the data security and privacy world. Remember, Lexis is here to help you. Should you have any questions, please reach out to your school's Lexis rep. Thank you.